Okay, we are going to be looking at the Which Way Border Quilting Template from Dabline. Um, this is what it'll look like when you first take it out of the box. Um, before you use it, you're going to want to remove the little the film that's on the front of it, which is just there to protect the acrylic while it's shipping. So when you get your kit, it will come with this little... Um, piece that will help you remove that film. So you're going to just rub the edge of this little disc onto an edge of the film just to get it started. It should come up fairly easily. See, there's got a little piece started there. And then we're just going to pull that off and it should all come off in one piece really easily after that. Okay, and then you can just throw that away. Now our template is ready to use. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to, when you do go over to your sewing machine, you're going to place it inside the template grip, which helps you have a better grip on the template okay um so before we start any before we start actually uh sewing we are going to make some markings on our practice quilt here um so i'm going to set this aside i'm gonna get my ruler here and I want to make two horizontal lines that are four inches apart. So I'm going to make my first line. I'm going to use a disappearing ink pen. You can use a pen like this that has disappearing ink or water soluble ink. You could also use a hero marker that would put a crease in the fabric. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the disappearing ink side. There's my making my first line. And then I'm going to measure four inches from that to make my second line. And I will show you why we're doing four inches apart in a minute on the template. Okay, so we have that. Now, what we're going to do when we take this over to the sewing machine is we are going to line up the top line to this horizontal line and the bottom line to this bottom horizontal line and that's going to help us keep everything uh, really straight and it'll look very nice if you uh, do this extra step to add those lines. Also what you can do, the, the templates come with these little rubber feet that you can stick onto the back of the template that's going to help it not slide so much on the fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and also do that. I'm just going to put a couple on. I'll do one, one in that corner and make sure you're putting these feet on the back of the template, not the front. Okay. All right. Now I've got those feet. So I'm going to go over to my sewing machine. I'm going to take my template, the grip, my quilting gloves. And I'm also going to take this uh, template usage instructions sheet. Uh, that's just going to show me uh, what I need to do to create this cool design that we're going to make. It's initially going to end up looking like that. So let's go over to the sewing machine and get started. Okay, we are at the sewing machine here. Let me get this in a little bit better positioning there. So you can see. All right, before we're actually going to start sewing, we want to set up our sewing machine for free motion quilting. This is very important. You're going to want to either cover your feed dogs or lower them if that's an option for your machine. Uh, so you want to go ahead and do that. And you also want to change your stitch length to zero. The reason why you're changing your stitch length to zero is you are going to be in charge of the speed in which you move the fabric underneath the needle and you don't want stitches 
like very short stitches and then very long stitches or skip stitches. So switching it over to a stitch length of zero is gonna really help with that. And the last thing that you're gonna wanna do to get your sewing machine ready is to go ahead and attach a free motion quilting ruler foot. Um, this is a little bit different than a regular free motion quilting foot. Um, it has a larger or a wider lip here that's going to help you move the fabric under the template and that um, lip is going to butt up against the template edges. Um, if you were to use a regular free motion quilting foot that's not meant to be used with rulers, it has a very flat foot here which would slide underneath of the template and the stitches would be very messy and not uniform. So you definitely want to invest in one of these special free motion quilting for rulers feet. And you should be able to find that for your specific sewing machine online. So now that we have the sewing machine all set up, we are going to do some practice movements before we even turn our sewing machine on. Okay, so I am going to get my gloves on here. The gloves really are optional. Um, some people really like to use them, some people do not. Um, it kind of depends on the project and just on the person. If they help you, awesome. If not, that's okay. You don't have to use them. But I'm going to go ahead and use them because they do give a little extra grip for when we're moving everything around underneath the needle. So I'm going to go ahead and act as if I'm stitching, but my sewing machine is not on yet. So I'm going to line up the top and bottom line on the ruler with those lines that we marked on the fabric. Line those up and then I am going to bring this underneath my needle and this is going to be the starting position here on the left. I'm going to put my foot down so my foot is down and I'll be able to feel what it feels like to have that foot moving along with the ruler okay so now we're just going to practice the movements of following those curves of the template you want to take this nice and slow and just make sure that you really get the movements right okay you don't want to be you don't want it to be herky jerky or kind of bouncing back and forth between the the uh, edges of the curve so we're just going to start in our starting position and just slowly move it around. Just kind of get used to those movements. You want your movements to be very fluid. And then we stop in the stopping position. Then we, our needle will be down at this point when we're actually stitching. So then we're just gonna move this back around. This will make more sense once we actually are using the sewing machine. <laughs> so we're going to get that in the starting position. Again, line up those lines on the top and bottom and then practice another movement. And you just want to keep on practicing this movement as long as it takes. It's it's okay if it takes you a little bit longer than what you think it should. Because the more practice you get, the better you should be at it. And then you won't have to use your seam ripper as much. <laughs> so just keep practicing until you're ready. And then we'll actually turn our sewing machine on and do some stitching. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I am ready to start stitching. I have my sewing machine on, my feed dogs are still down, stitch length zero, and I've got my template positioned here. So let me go ahead and put my glove back on. 
And now we are going to do our first stitches. Remember to take it just really slow. You do not have to rush through this. You are in charge of the speed and the stitch length here. So we're gonna start out nice and slow. Let's do it. Make sure while you are moving the template under the needle that this is not turning at all. You're not accidentally moving it because you want those lines to stay lined up. So this is going to be a really nice uh, straight line of stitches here. Okay, we did one. Now let's do a second one. I'm lining up those lines. And here we go, taking it nice and slow. Okay, let's do another one. Nice and slow. This is looking so cool, you guys. All right, let's do another one. Let's do one more. Make sure those lines are nice and lined up. Okay, here we go. All right, now let's move this out of the way. I wanna show you what this looks like. I'm gonna move the camera back here a little bit, if I can. Look how neat that looks. Beautiful curves. It almost looks like waves. Very cool. Now you could definitely stop right here and that's all, that's it, it's beautiful, it's done. Or what we can do is we can flip our template over to create a really pretty design here. So this is what we've done, this top, that top line. We're going to show you how to do this. Okay, and this is really simple. I know it looks very complex, but we literally just have to switch over, flip over the, the uh, template in the grip to be able to do this. So let's do that now. Okay, we're gonna do that pretty design. We're just gonna get our grip back up here where we need it and we're gonna take our template. There's right side, that's how we had it. We're just gonna flip it. So it's like that. All right, now, now what we need to do so we're going to line our lines back up, that top line and bottom line like we did before. And we also need to line up. Let me get the camera here real quick. Pointing down so you can see. We're going to line up. See this curve, black curved line on the template? We're going to line that up with the stitch. See that? And then get those lines, this bottom line lined up with the stitch and this line lined up with the stitch. So we're lining up four lines, that top line, bottom line, this curve, and that curve. And that is going to help us to make that really pretty figure eight 
design. So let's go ahead, see if we can do that, okay? I've got those lines all lined up. I'm gonna get my needle in the starting position, lower my foot, keep those, all those lines lined up, and here we go. Again, take it nice and slow. Just going to move this over, lining up all four of those points that we need lined up. Okay, and I'm going to go nice and slow again. Nice and smooth around those curves. I love this design because it looks like it takes you forever to do it, but this is literally only taking us a couple of minutes to do an entire row of these beautiful shapes. Keep reminding yourself to line up those lines. Last one. There, we did an entire row. And look how beautiful those turned out. Whoop. Those are so pretty. This would look so beautiful on a border. If you had just a solid color border, you could do this beautiful design to add some detail to a quilt top. So yeah, just have a lot of fun playing around with it. This is a very uh, versatile template and we hope that you have a lot of fun playing around with it. Thank you.